Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lucas Monster. If you guys didn't know, Hasbro just had their Star Wars panel at San Diego Comic Con, and today we're going to be going over all of the Black Series reveals that just came out of San Diego Comic Con. So let's go ahead and jump right into the first reveal. Really quick though, we're actually giving away this clone two back here on the channel at 15k subscribers. So if you do want to make sure you enter into that, you do have to be subbed to the channel. So go down and hit the like button, subscribe, and once we actually do it 15k, I'll make a giveaway video and all you have to do is comment on that giveaway video to enter. And of course, there's still a few days left to enter our member giveaways for the month of July. For our premium members, we're giving away this Arc Trooper Echo, and for our standard members, we're giving away this Imperial Crosshair. If you do want a chance to win, all you have to do is go down and hit that join button down below. Anybody who joins in the month of July will automatically be entered to win, but there's only a few days left, so if you do want a chance to win this Arc Trooper Echo or Imperial Crosshair, consider going down and hitting that join button down below. Anyway, on to the video. Jumping into the first reveal, this one is actually already revealed a little bit yesterday, but we do have some better high quality photos and some out of the box here. So we actually do have Jedi Master Vernestra, and I apologize if I butchered her name, but I think she looks really dang good here. Um, I think the, the skin tone looks great. I think the cloak is okay. I like the purple lightsaber. Overall, I think this is a pretty solid representation of her. It's not one that was on the top of my list, but I'm still pretty happy with it, and it'll go great with the rest of the Acolyte Jedi in your collection. The next one up is actually Basil from the Acolyte, and this is one that I could honestly care less about. I didn't care for the character in the show, really. He's also going to be a really small figure, so for a $25 figure, just not really my cup of tea. I know there's a lot of people out there that like him, though, so this is a great way to get him if you do want him, but just not one that I care too much about. Next up is a figure that really surprised me. I was not expecting this one at all, and that is Cassian Andor. I think he looks great. This one is mainline, expected to release in fall of 2024. I think the likeness on this Andor is the best one we've gotten so far. Um, I don't know if this is from Season 1 or from Season 2. Uh, let me know if it's from Season 1, but I have not been able to find any photos of Andor in this outfit, so let me know. Uh, but I think it looks great, and it's one that I'll probably end up picking up just because I like this outfit a whole lot more than the, like, Season 1 trench coat look. So this is probably one that I'll end up picking up and kind of being, like, my main Andor look. Even in the packaging here, I think he looks really dang good. The next one, another one from Andor, we actually do have Dedra Miro. This is one that I was really excited for, and I'm really happy to finally see her here in the line as well. I believe this does reuse the exact same body that uh, Tala was on from the Kenobi show, but she looks great. Brand new head sculpt. Looks really, really good. Uh, biggest problem is that she doesn't come with a blaster at all. I think that she should have come with something, uh, but obviously she does come with like a little, little data pad there. I think it's okay, but I think a blaster would have been a good accessory to include as well. Uh, even the box does look great. Now I will say the uh, Andor was number 10 and this is number 12 so we are missing a number in there. I'm guessing number 11 will end up being that range trooper that was leaked so we'll have to wait and see but I think this figure does look great and I'm pretty excited for it. Up next, we have Ahsoka Tano Peridia, also known as Ahsoka the White. This is one of the outfits from Ahsoka I absolutely loved, but this figure really gives me mixed feelings just because she doesn't have the white cloak. How do you have Ahsoka the White without the white cloak? That's what makes her Ahsoka the White. And so... It's a little frustrating. I think the mold here is great. There's a lot of new pieces. I believe the forearms, the legs, and a little bit of the torso are all new, and they specifically said that the headpiece, or the act of the whole face is brand new. Even the, uh, like, ear tails are a little bit longer as well. The Laku, I believe, is what they're called. Um, so yeah, I, I think this is a great update, and definitely the version of Ahsoka that I've been wanting. Just really wish she came with that cloak, so I'm guessing we'll see some kind of deluxe version, or an Ahsoka mercenary down the line that has the cloak but we'll have to wait and see. It's just one that I think it's kind of essential for that character, and it's a, it's a bummer that she doesn't have it. Now, oddly enough, uh, they did say that both Ahsoka and Dedra Mira will not be going up for pre-order. They are mainline, but they will just kind of show up with the wave. Uh, that kind of confuses me. Like, will the rest of the wave be up for pre-order too? Or is, like only these two not up for pre-order because that's the first time I've ever heard of a wave going up for pre-order but only select figures from that wave so we'll have to wait and see but it's a little bit strange and uh I don't know I'm just I'm not a big fan of whenever they don't do pre-orders because then I actually have to go in store and hunt for figures and a lot of the stores around me don't get great stock and I know a lot of uh, other collectors have that same problem so we'll have to wait and see but uh it's just weird that they're not doing pre-orders for these two figures Next up is another one that I'm absolutely stoked for, and that is the Imperial Armored Commando. Absolutely loved this design for Mando Season 3. It's one of the few parts of Mando Season 3 that I really, really liked, and this is just one of those trooper designs I loved, and I'm definitely going to army build this guy. 
Uh, he looks great. We obviously did see a leaked image of this a little while ago, but I think it looks so much better here uh, on display with the actual head on it. But it looks really good, and it just really surprised me, and I, I, I love how this one turned out. I know it's not everybody's favorite design, but it's one of my personal favorites, and I've been wanting it ever since we saw that finale of Mando Season 3, so really, really happy with this one. Next up, we actually do have IG-12 and Grogu. Uh, this one is a mainline, but it's also deluxe, so it's not going to be packed with any other figures. Um, and I like this one a lot. It's one of those that I think it's definitely necessary to get that new IG mold, so I'm excited to see what other uses they can use for that IG mold moving forward. As far as this version of like IG-12 and Grogu goes, it's not my favorite, uh, but it's one that I think is going to go good with my Mandalorian collection, so I think I'm going to end up picking it up. I just hope it's not too overpriced. I, I mean, it comes with IG-12, Grogu, and two of, like, the Babu Frick aliens, and so we'll see. Um, I'm worried that it's going to be over $30. We'll see. I, I think that's the biggest thing for me. I think it's cool. I just don't want it to be super expensive. And then we're also going to be talking about this quick uh, TVC reveal, just because I absolutely love it, and I really want to see this in Black Series. We have Mando riding the Blurg. For starters, this is my all-time favorite outfit for Mando, because he has that Beskar shoulder pad. We see him for like three episodes with it, and it's one of those that I really want to see in the Black Series. And of course, the Blurg. The Blurg is awesome. It's an awesome creature. Even comes with the saddle. It's something I would love to see in Black Series, and I really hope Hasbro decides to do it one day. I'm hoping they think that's great for Black Series scale. We'll have to wait and see, but this is like one of my dream sets out of the Mandalorian, and TVC just got it, and so I just want to put it out there that this would be incredible in Black Series. Please put it in Black Series. It would be so cool. Anyway, jumping into pipeline reveals, we do have the Wookiee from the Acolyte. This is one that I definitely knew we were going to be getting. Wookiees always sell well, and so I'm excited to see this one in the line. I think it'll be good. It's definitely going to be a deluxe figure, but it's one I'm definitely willing to pick up, and I think it'll go great with the rest of those uh, Acolyte Jedi. We also do have Moff Gideon in his Mandalorian armor. Absolutely love this one. We knew we were going to kind of be getting this for a while. We kind of just assumed, but... Really excited to finally see a pipeline for this one. And of course, what we didn't know is the Praetorian Guard for Moff Gideon is also going to be getting a release. Another one of those characters that, like, as soon as I saw it on screen, just like the, like, Mandalorian Super Commandos, I'm like, I need that as a figure. And really happy that we're going to be getting it. It's going to go great on my Mandalorian shelf or even just the Imperial shelf because I think it's a super cool design and I'm excited to see it. But we also do have Clone Wars flashback Anakin from the Ahsoka show. Really excited for this one because I know I've gotten a few questions in some of my previous videos like do you think this is a figure we could be getting and I said absolutely. Uh, I think it's just interesting to see how much reuse this figure is going to be. Is it going to be a new head sculpt to match that Ahsoka flashback or is it just going to be a complete re-release of the Clone Wars figure we already got? Uh, I'm kind of under the impression that it's going to be a lot of new pieces, but we'll have to wait and see. So I, I'm, I think the thing that I just hope for the most is brand new legs for that Anakin, because the Clone Wars one we got still uses those 2013 Anakin legs, and they really suck. So hopefully this one does have some new pieces, but one I'm really excited for because it's going to help a lot of people who didn't get that Clone Wars figure get that version of Anakin. So really excited for that one. Next up, we also do have Phase 1 Rex, again, specifically from the Ahsoka show. This is what I had been predicting on my channel for quite a while now, but it's nice to officially see that. Um, but yeah, Phase 1 Rex is going to go really cool, and um, I'm excited for that one too. Like I said, uh, I think Rex is a super popular character. We don't have a Phase 1 version of him yet, so I think it's definitely time to get a Phase 1 Rex, and it's going to go great with that uh, Anakin flashback. Now, they didn't uh, reveal this to be a two-pack, but I wouldn't be surprised if this Anakin and the Rex are packed together as a two-pack. I think it's definitely a possibility, but they could both be single releases. We'll have to wait and see. But kind of going along that Clones of the Republic theme, I definitely could see these as a two-pack together. Next up, we do have Commander Bakara from Revenge of the Sith. Obviously, this one was just rumored a few days ago, but Great to see a pipeline this soon. I think it looks absolutely incredible, and uh, it's one of those, it's been number one on my, my bucket list for a very long time when it comes to most wanted figures, so really, really excited for this one. You guys know how I love my Commander Bakara, and uh, hopefully he turns out really good. I'm hoping it's the 2023 body, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, but after that, we do have the Commando Droid, another one that we didn't know was going to get pipeline today, and I'm really, really happy it did because... 
it's a droid that we need to kind of round out our uh, separatist line and so i'm really 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 happy we're getting the commando droid i kind of predicted this a long time ago because we saw the commando droid repaints in uh, jedi survivor and we are also getting a commando droid a part of the brand new uh outlaws game and so i figured this way if they do a commando droid they can do the classic clone wars look they could do the outlaws look and then of course they could do the jedi survivor repaint so they're going to get three repaints out of this figure and so i've been predicting the commando droid for quite a while and it's just nice to finally see it revealed because i think it's going to go great with the rest of the separatists and then the last one is the villain there from uh, shadows of the empire we already saw the leaked figure for this guy so nothing too surprising here but uh, overall, I think the pipelines really carried the stream, but I do think we got some great ones. Like, I loved the Dead Ramiro. I loved the Super Commando. Um, I even liked the Ahsoka the White. Just wish it came with a cloak, but let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these reveals. I've definitely seen some mixed opinions between them all, so let me know down in the comments what you guys think, but that is going to do it for this episode. If you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.